So this in this lecture we are going to continue I mean this is a continuation of the previous lecture where we want to derive discrete time model straight away from the discrete time large signal model. So you want to derive discrete time small signal model from the discrete time large signal model. So first we will uh, again recapitulate our discrete time large signal model then we need I will show how to calculate Jacobian matrix and then what how to derive discrete time small signal model. So here discrete time large signal model under interval to sampling. So this waveform we already know that means this is our sampling point, these are the sampling point, these are the sampling point, sampling points and these are the switching point, these are switching point and there is a delay and that is to accommodate A to D converter conversion time and computational time. Here let us say the state variable here is xn at t equal to nt that is the beginning of nth sampling interval and then at the end of the sampling interval it is xn plus 1. And we know the large signal model discrete time from the previous to previous lecture xn plus 1 can be written as this is for a buck converter. So this is for a CCM buck converter. with a1 equal to a2 equal to a under resistive load resistive load okay so we know this expression we already now how to derive discrete time small signal model for this particular case so if you understand this model then we can actually derive small signal model for other cases also so first if we talk about this perturbation xn it is steady state value around that steady state value we are considering the perturbation and similarly the on time can be perturbed this is a perturbation and this is a steady state value. Now we know the large signal model xn plus 1 this expression and this is a vector because we are talking about two state one is the inductor current and the capacitor voltage and these are the values of the state at n plus 1 clock sampling instant and this that means this will also be 2 cross 1 and let us say it is f1 and f2 okay. Now we can obtain straight away that means if you write this do f so this is a function of that means here it is a function of it is a vector function of xn and t on the other parameters are constant that means time period is constant sampling delay is constant but only initial condition can change and the on time can change because on time is a control variable so how to obtain this part of small signal model that means what is the perturbation in the final state of the uh, at the sampling instant in terms of the perturbation of the initial state and in terms of the perturbation of the on time and in the previous lecture we saw we have considered individually the perturbation of the initial state and we saw the effect. We have considered individually the on time perturbation or the deterioration perturbation and we saw the effect and then we combine together. Here we can obtain mathematically. So first of all if you take that means it is a function of 2. So what is do f do xn because xn is a 2 cross 1 uh, vector and f is also 2 cross 1 and this is nothing but f1 f2. So this can be obtained and suppose xn has two state x1n x2n then how do I get it? So we can get do f1 do x1n do f1 do x2n do f2 do 
x1 n and do f2 do x2 n and this matrix is known as jacobian matrix and these are two cross two matrix here that means we are partially differentiating with respect to the first element with sorry we are partially differentiating the first element of the function vector function with respect to two states separately and then we are again taking the second element of the function vector function and separately differentiating with respect to this and this is a standard thing so this is a jacobian matrix for do f do x n now what about p on p on is scalar it is a scalar quantity then what will be do f do t on how does it look like so it will look like do f1 do t on and do f2 do t on so it will be simply 2 cross 1 vector because here f is 2 cross 1 and t on is a scalar so we can get another matrix this is the 2 cross 1 and this is scalar this is 2 cross 1 this is 2 cross 2 and overall we will get 2 cross 1 and you know the direct thing they are already well known but in this paper it also presents what will happen if the matrix is non invertible then how to deal with this so all these things are presented in this paper now in the descriptor small signal model since we have a vector function and you can see there are two parts the first term is here and that we call as a zero input because this term there is no input what is mean input so here we are talking about t on to be control input because in any switching converter the only control variable is the on time and off time adjustment of the gate signal so under pulse width modulation we generally control the duty ratio which is equivalent to the on time so duty ratio in the time period is the on time that is why we consider t on to be a control variable control input so we call this term to be input so that means if you take this part this part this we call it as a zero state that means here zero state means the first thing effect due to the initial state that combination that means if you set if you talk about the part up term and if you do not consider any perturbation on time so the part up effect due to this will be zero and if there is any perturbation in the initial condition it will be captured by the zero input function so we are separating the xn plus 1 the total vector into two component one zero input component and there is a zero state component because in the zero input component there is no t on term and in the zero state in uh, component there is no xn term but as we move forward it may so happen that it will be for a this matrix there is a you know cascade chain of this exponential matrix there can be t on term but when you consider the variation the perturbation the first term we are only talking about the variation in the initial state so at those you know for that cases case we will consider the on time to be constant for the second case we will consider what we will consider we will consider xn to be constant and we are only taking about the effect due to the uh, you know that means here effect due to the on time variation so we are just separating now where fz1 equal to this term and it is visible from the so what we want to obtain first we want to obtain do f do xn since f have two part and the first part has xn is a function of xn so we will straight away take do f zi by xn and it will be e to the power at if we take the do f do t on particularly for this example only this term has t on dependency but it may so happen i told you that there can be t on dependency in general for example in if you take interval to uh, dc dc converter what was the original expression 
we know that x n plus 1 we started with what interval 2 sampling at least the first term will be t to the power a 2. So, if we go back to the last signal model it will start from right to left. So, the left will be t minus t on minus t s then e to the power a into t on then e to the power a 2 into t s into x n. So, this is the first term plus the other term. So, I am not writing. So, in this case you can see this function this is a function of both x n as well as t on if a on a 2 are not equal then you cannot simplify like this. So, that means in that case if you obtain dou x n plus dou f that means the whole thing is f dou f dou x n then you need to also consider you know x n this will be straight uh, this will be replaced by the steady state value. But if you consider dou f dou t on then we have to consider x n as a constant but we need to also take out this matrix component when we take differential with respect to t on. So, that means in that case it will not be so straightforward, but it is straightforward by mathematically we can always obtain this expression. So, that means if we t on if we differentiate in this case first we will do we simplify this expression that means we multiply the, the first term if you multiply this term and this term what we will get? it will be a t minus t s and that is exactly this. And if we multiply this term with this term it will be simply this term only. So, it is there and if you differentiate the first term there is no t n dependency it will be 0 and the second term there is a t n dependency. So, now we are continuing so 0 state response and if we differentiate with respect to t on. So, that means this negative sign is there and one negative will come out with respect to t on. So, we will get positive. So, overall this function will be so this it will be like this and this details of these steps are discussed in this paper. So, here you will get do z s f z s by t on will be this term. So, in summary if you want to get total perturbation at the output it will be this matrix into x n perturbation and this matrix into t 1 perturbation and this is nothing but a to the power a t and this is nothing but this term. And again if you take a p w m pulses modulation if you replace t 1 by d t and the total delay if you consider the delay due to d p w m as well as the a d c delay. So, it will be t 1 perturbation will be d. So, you can replace here this term and this will be beyond v in. So, overall x n plus 1 perturbation is a equivalent to x n perturbation b equivalent to d perturbation that a equivalent equal to e to the power a t and b equivalent to e to the power a t minus t d and this t d include the delay due to d p w m plus a d c conversion time. And this is the output function part of model and if you take perturbation here then you will get simply c equivalent to the x n perturbation. So, discrete time you can obtain apply z transform then you will x of z z i a equivalent. So, you can get z transform and then x of z can be obtained by z i minus a equivalent inverse b equivalent d z and if you want to get control to output transfer function v 0 z by d z is simply c equivalent z i minus a equivalent to the power that whole inverse into b q. So, if you compare the previous lecture and this lecture you know there we, re we represented x n plus 1 perturbation is a phi into x n perturbation gamma into d perturbation. Here x n plus 1 perturbation a equivalent to x n perturbation plus b equivalent to d perturbation and phi and a equivalent are same then gamma and this b equivalent are also same. So, that means we can straight I get the small signal model from the large signal model itself. And you know if you take the overall this discrete time model considering the sampling delay then you can get the trailing edge and leading edge modulation various expression of a equivalent and b equivalent and the detail of the, the steps summary of and this technique actually where we obtain small signal model directly from large signal model by means of Jacobian this model can be extended 
for variable frequency that means constant on time control, constant off time control, trailing edge, leading edge, various modulation and one by only considering the large signal model. And also since we are also considering large signal model, so we can validate the large signal behavior of the system and also large signal model can be used for nonlinear analysis. So in summary, all these aspects are detailed discussed in this paper. So if if you want to get the nonlinear phenomena, the large signal behavior, at the same time you want to get the small signal for the controller design. So all this can be combined or unified and for different technique, the details of the small signal models are discussed. So in summary, we have discussed this system large signal modeling. We have uh, shown how to compute the Jacobian matrix and we have also discussed how to derive discrete time small signal model straight away from the discrete time large signal model. So that means we can develop the digital controller based on our small signal analysis. So we want to finish it here for today, thank you very much.